we're going to call on Kamehia School, please, to come up and do their presentation. It just gets better, it just gets more. We're doubling, we're quadrupling. Soon there'll be so many schools to present. Linda, I'd like to honour you for bringing us all together with a wonderful team of people and for spending time with us. Um, I personally think it is a privilege for the, some of the Kamahia School staff to be able to meet and spend time with you. So thank you very much. Does this just turn a little bit? Right. And the other thing I'd like to do before I start is honour all the staff of Kamahia School for their commitment to students and our, each other and our whānau, our whole learning community. So my name is Kirsten Ratana and I am very fortunate to be the principal of Kamahia School in Huntley. We are a school of 368 students at the end of last year and we have 15 learning rooms, we call them, classrooms but we call them learning rooms at our school. I need to just slow down and take a breath. <laughs> All right? So this is quite interesting for you because I was one of the DPs at Judy's school. So I, um, I worked at Frankton um, for 15 years. And of course, during my time there, um, I became a firm believer in the virtues, and they um, had a really um, special place in my heart. And we talk at our school about not doing things, but it being part of who we are. And that is my goal, for it to be part of who we are. I don't want us to be able to say we do the virtues at Kamahia School. It is what we are about. Um, and You'll hear some of the ways we do that from the team later. So, um, as you've heard this afternoon um, from Frankton, when I left, I took a strong belief in the power of the virtues with me. So, when I arrived, it was a school that already had, um, we have the Kimahia kid. And the Kimahia kid has six attributes. Look at me shaking, you're a scary bunch of people. <laughs> And I told my team not to be nervous. I said, show your confidence and courage. So I need to do that myself. Um, so the Kimahia kid has six attributes, which um, are based around the key competencies in the New Zealand curriculum. So uh, was well embedded in the school. Talk about being a risk taker, a communicator, respectful and proud, healthy and happy, a problem solver and a goal setter. So for me coming in, it was how will I 
um, get the virtues to be part of that, something that is already well embedded in the school. So what we did there was we sat down over a few staff meetings and of course I, I was speaking the language and already talking to them about things anyway. But we sat down as a staff over a few meetings and we had a list of all the virtues and as a team we worked out how the virtues, which ones they matched with, how, what we wanted to use. And um, they also came up with the virtue of adventure. They wanted that for being a risk taker as well. So each term we focus on an attribute and the virtues around that. Of course, all day, every day, they need to be integrated and embedded into everything we do. Um, but that was our starting point. And this chart is up in every learning room. And that reminds us of what we are about. Of course, when I left Frankton, wonderful role model. I do all the things that Judy does. I enrol everyone, myself. Um, and I talk to them about the special gifts that they're all born with. So I have the virtues around my office. I have them out in the front foyer with pictures, um, photos of students in our school doing different things, and they're all there straight away for people to walk in and be part of. We have large, large virtues up around our school. And as soon as you come over the hill to our school, you see a great big Kimahia kit on the wall and you see commitment and excellence beside it. So the message is very clear right from the start. And so on enrolment, I talk about the special gifts that all, that we believe all, everyone is born with. And it's our, some of them shine really easily, some of them need a polish now and then, and that's our job. Yeah, so that's how we do that. Um, so over the past four years, my focus has really been on speaking the language um, and recognising the teachable moments. I felt if I could get those two strategies really going in our school, then we would be ready for next steps. Um, so that's what I've concentrated on, building teacher understanding and depth on ways that they can use the virtues in school life, but I also talk to them about their own personal lives. Um, four staff have previously attended mentorship and I acknowledge this group for their commitment um, over this weekend, so thank you very much. Um, I've talked about the school environment. We have full school assemblies once a fortnight and that is an opportunity for me to speak the language and to talk to students about things I may have seen where um, there's an example of a virtue or things that I need to pick up on so that we can improve it in our school. I've talked, um, I've been amazed at, I've had some parents even come up to me after full school assembly and say, thank you for your message today. That was just so enjoyable. You talk to the students, but we also take something home with us. And for me, that's really precious. Um, so, I've read the book to, and the whole school has read this, um, have you filled your bucket today? Mm -hmm. So I've talked to the students about we've all got our buckets along beside us, and so our words, our acts make a huge difference. So have you filled someone's bucket today, and what's your bucket looking like? Um, sometimes um, I really need to, um, focus on one particular thing and when I do that I try really hard to ensure that the five-year-olds as well as our 13-year-olds because we are a full primary we go right through to year eight um, can take something from that message that's really important and when Glenis shares um, Glenis works with our five-year-olds right from the minute that they walk in our gate we're talking the language of the virtues with them straight away um, so I think I need to be quiet because I only have five minutes and I've talked too long. But a bit like Noxie, you could stand up here and talk for ages about um, things that happen in your school. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.
Um, my name is Glenis Hoyes. I have been at Kimi here for the last three and a half years. Um, for my own journey with virtues, I feel I'm still very new to it. Um, when I first came in, I really didn't have anything to do with the virtues program before, so it's been a learning journey for me as well. Um, I'm just going to talk, oh, reasonably briefly, as briefly as I can, about um, what I do with children when they first come into school. So, um, teaching and using the virtues language begins with younger students as soon as they arrive at school on their visits. They have three visits before they come into school, um, two visits for an, um, two hours, and the last visit is right through to lunchtime. So, the other members of the, or other students in the classroom are encouraged to show respect for a new person who comes into school by showing them consideration and helping them to find their confidence and feel secure. And by doing this, one of the virtues that I will mention that, and of course there are many others that we use all day, but this one that I'm focusing on is just friendliness, it's just to show you what we do. Okay, so with showing friendliness with the students, they need to be able to show new students exactly what that would look like. So they would be um, helping them to find their courage, helping them to um, become comfortable on their first day at school, helping them by becoming a friend to them, and helping them when they go outside at break time, um, and being using their virtues of kindness and caring. Um, teacher role modelling is of course very, very important, and I'm trying to do that all day long, and providing the foundations for them to grow in. Um, excuse me, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Um, teacher role modelling is very important. Students are being acknowledged for displaying their virtue. Um, it's ongoing, it happens all day long, right from the time that I start reading out their names. Um, when they're sitting on the mat, um, I will acknowledge children who are showing their self-discipline, showing their peacefulness, and for those children who don't know what that looks like, then I'll say, look at this particular child, and this they are showing the virtue of confidence or the virtue of peacefulness or self-discipline by the way they are sitting, by the way they are listening to me and showing respect to me. Um, students are current and encouraged to take responsibility for their actions and to find their self-discipline throughout the day. This helps with setting boundaries and expectations in the room and at school. Virtues are acknowledged at our school through. We have these little virtue cards that when we find children, or not find, when we, when we spy children who are doing something that is displaying a virtue, then we write their name on the card and we present it to them and they can take it to the office and it can go into a box and that box is drawn, every, the names are drawn out every second Friday for our full school assembly and those children are acknowledged over the loudspeaker system. Um, we have certificates at school-wide assemblies using uh, that will name virtues. We have something called the Duffy Book Awards and those people who are maybe familiar with Duffy Books, that is a program that runs in New Zealand, we have it in our school and we give children one student per class at each full school assembly a Duffy Book that acknowledges something about virtues and other things as well. Um, we also have our Come Here Kid Awards, which I'm not going to talk much about because I'm sure somebody else will, and I don't want to tell you everything, otherwise there'll be nothing new for them to tell you. Um, each term, as Kirsten said, the school has a focus on four or five virtues, and these will have a special area in the classroom that are where um, it's a virtues board, and we talk about those virtues in particular that go with our Come Here Kid um, that, that we're talking about for the term as well, that was discussed by Kirsten. Um, as, alongside that, we also think and use the other virtues continually. Teachers use the language of virtues with each other. Um, we have something that we do in the staff room on Fridays, and we actually write out a um, little, um, almost like certificate, acknowledging something that teachers do for each other. So not only are we acknowledging students, but we also acknowledge each other. Um, and I'm, that's all I'm going to say at the moment. If you've got any other questions you'd like to talk to me or ask me about, that's fine. Um, and Virtues has helped me to become a more positive role model in my teaching, um, hopefully taking some of the ne well, nearly all of the negativity away because as you were looking at Linda and the role modelling um, with the two um, things that they were doing, previously this morning, 
um, it's actually helping helped me to think about the positive ways that I can talk to children rather than the negative ways. Okay, thank you. started last year was we had these pens made and they say I'm, an, I'm a Kimahia kid who shows respect. All our students write on the pen. So when they receive a certificate of assembly they also receive the pen with the virtue and the Kimahia kid on it. And, um, so we're always looking for new ways to keep reinforcing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the laptop screen doesn't match the big screen up to um, I can just introduce myself while we're waiting. Um, my name is Annette Young. I've been teaching um, full-time. This is my fifth year, and all of those full-time years have been at Kimahia Primary School. Um, the Virtues Project was new to me when I came to Kimahia School, and it's really important. Um, a lot of the children that come to our school um, don't always have that, the Virtues in their background, so um, we teach them... Um, what that looks like. I'm um, sorry. Um, Is that the one you wanted? No. Oh. <laughs> um, no, I want the PowerPoint. Yep. But it wasn't on there. Right. No, it was up here. Yeah, but it wasn't on yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I've only been um, teaching mostly at year one, two uh, level, but this year I am teaching the new entrant class. But some of my year ones have been um, very young, so some of them have sort of been seven weeks at schools that are something really like new entrants. Um, speaking the language and um, teaching the language, um, what I mean by that is that um, some children don't know what respectfulness looks like, so then we need to teach that when we're using that language. Okay, um, so I've just headed it up tools. Um, I've headed up tools. Um, I was thinking about how I use the virtues in the holidays and I just started writing and it was sort of coming to me, but um, clear boundaries, talking about classroom rules and expectations with the students, which we do right from the beginning of the year. Um, getting their input into the rules right from the beginning, I think I've repeated that. Um, incredible years, I've been on an Incredible <coughs> Years course and um, this has got show me five, and so I talked to the children about showing me five, and this is the behaviour I expect to see on the mat. So listening is um, quiet hands up, so it's not calling out when they're putting their hands up, hands to self, feet to self, and eyes on the teacher. So, um, and I can take off these little, these are on Velcro, um, when I'm explaining these to teach the children. Um, so that's a visual reminder, and I have that on my whiteboard for the children. I can just point to that too, if they're not doing what they're meant to be doing. Um, I've got literature there, teaching virtues through reading books that the students can relate to. Um, I've got a book here to demonstrate. So I can be reading a book, and um, we can talk, there's, this is called The Little Engine That, sorry, I've got my back to you guys. The Little Engine That Could, and it's about all these big trains, um, a little, the little blue train broke down with a whole lot of toys for children over the mountain. And um, he asked all these, well, the children um, asked all these other trains if they could take the carriages. And um, I'm doing lots of arms too. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Not a speaker, really. And so, um, yeah, so they asked all these big engines and they were going, no, I'm too tired or I'm, you know, I'm too special, I can't take it over. And then this little train came along who didn't know if it could make it over the mountain, but said, I'll try. So um, that's all about showing courage and determination and, yeah, just, just trying new things, which we don't, we can't always achieve, but if we try, that's a really awesome virtue. So... Um, we talk, I talk about with the children lots of different books, but you usually can find virtues in those in those books. Um, 
and I had a little, I don't know, can I swap over to that other little? YouTube. Um, oh, no, no, not that one, but that green one that we had on there. Yep, it's not in there, it's on there. <laughs> Technical issues. Um, so another one that I was just going to show you is the rainbow fish. And I don't know if you know that story, but it's where the rainbow fish show kindness and friendliness when he shared, he had these really special glittery um, scales and he shared them with the other fish so that they could look beautiful as well. So um, here it is. So I have, um, like when I read the story and then the children get to make their own fish, but we talk about how, um, you know, that they're showing virtues when they show kindness and friendliness. So um, lots of books that we can do that sharing with the students. Thank you. Um, YouTube clips. Now <laughs> I need to go to that YouTube one. <laughs> Sorry. I try to hyperlink it and stuff, but I haven't done a PowerPoint for some time. Okay. And um, on the YouTube clips, there's lots of virtue songs. Um, because we're uh, not a Christian um, school, but a non-denominational school, I just check that you know they don't talk about God on them. But um, there are heaps that have virtues, and um, this is just one that I've, I've um, put the heading into so that you can say. Um, our children do like rap songs and mm. things like that, so this one's on like patience, it's going to come up and you're showing lots of patience. <laughs> so, but I'll just play this, it's only for a few, it doesn't last long. on Have You Felt a Bucket today, um, that's actually on YouTube as well, they have a song and they have a, um, they have the story, so you can actually click on that or you can buy the, purchase the book, and I just, I usually have this on my wall, Have You Felt a Bucket today, this is um, when I had your toes, um, but that just says you can't see it but it's there and that's that invisible bucket, it's about saying nice things to people, and I normally have some little demonstration cards that they can use to help them with saying nice things. Um, the children really um, enjoy that. Okay, um, visual posters that show the virtue that has been displayed. Um, for example, friendliness and helpfulness. So that's where the, I'll show you a couple there. And individual goals when we're doing like goal, um, setting goals, they have their little goals and how they're going to achieve those. I'll just quickly show, um, so that's something like one of the visual, yeah, okay. Right, so that's joyfulness and um, friendliness, um, responsibility. And I got shown those when, it might have been Angie Barn that came to our school and she showed us something very similar. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm getting the, <laughs> there's a lot of PUs that go, so I don't want to be late for dinner. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Annette. I don't have any visual aids or anything, so it's just me talking. Um, kia ora everyone, I'm Zoe, for those people who um, I haven't met. Um, I'm a beginning teacher at Kamehameha School in Huntley. I was introduced to the Virtues Project in May last year when I was fortunate enough to be employed by Kamehameha School. Um, the language of the Virtues um, and the attributes of the Kamehameha kid have had a positive impact on my teaching pedagogy. 
Last year, I had a learning room of 16 wonderful new entrance students. The language of the virtues was just as new to them as it was for me. I worked alongside my students to teach the virtues through the Kimi Here Kid attributes. I identified specific behavioural needs and explicitly taught the virtues corresponding to the positive behaviour that I desired in the learning room. For example, I identified honesty, respect and self-discipline as um, three of the virtues that were important in the learning room. I focused on one virtue per week and explicitly taught this so that the students could gain a greater understanding of the virtue's meaning and how to show it through displaying desired behaviours in different learning and social situations. Students contributed to mind maps um, of what each virtue meant to them and then participated in a range of activities to help expand their knowledge base. I used role play as a way of formatively assessing each student um, in the understanding of the virtues and how they could use the language of the virtues in challenging situations. I use the language of the virtues to positively reinforce students who are showing desired behaviours and setting a great example for their peers as well as keeping them in check with what is expected. I found that the more frequently I used the language of the virtues, the more confident my students became with using the language themselves. And in turn, I would hear students say things like, are you showing self-discipline? <laughs> and are you being honest? Um, I could tell that the students were becoming just as passionate about the virtues as I am becoming. I continued to use the, the language of the virtues and introduced new virtues which corresponded with the Kimahia Kid attribute focused on for the term as well as the students' behavioural needs. Each student had a sticker chart as an initiative to display the virtues of a Kimahia Kid which has worked really well. As I will have many of the same students this year, I'm looking forward to building on their knowledge and sharing with them what I have learned here at this Virtues Mentorship. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm going to need that kia um, ko Ian Tako Ingo. I'm a kaiako at Kim Hare School, teaching um, year five and six students. Um, and one thing that's good is not going first is because everyone else has covered basically what I need to speak about. So what I'm going to do is just give you a little activity in groups of three or four. You're just going to put together a jigsaw puzzle of just examples of what many teachers have been speaking about that we do at our school. Um, and through that then I might do a little bit of talking as well, but uh, we'll just go and just pass them around. Yeah, we could go around and pass them around there. So one of the big things in our school that's, um, as Kirsten was talking about, the, the virtue posters that we've got to signs around the school, and you'll see them when you're doing the jigsaw puzzle. They're large, they're kind of like in, in a light way in your face, it means it's, they're seeing it and as well as hearing it, and also for our community that walk around the school. So you're going to get through that, and I'll give you one minute. One minute. It's only a nine-piece jigsaw puzzle, so hopefully you shouldn't be too baffled by it all. <laughs> Um, couple of things I'll probably talk about. Um, 
everything has a reason, but kind of that's been one of the themes going through. And I was doing this at school and I found, as I was cleaning out the stuff, we've all shifted rooms, and a card there in this corner here, a card that I found that a kid gave me, a student at Kimia School gave me two years ago. And it talks about how the students are talking the language of the, um, of the virtues. And it talks about how myself, quite proud of this one, showing kindness, commitment, respect, leadership, and helpfulness, and tact throughout the year. So it kind of, when I was doing this, opened up a box cleaner and there it was, so that's why it's been put in there. Now, Kimahe Kid Certificates, which Kirsten gives out, they're so popular that I couldn't even find a copy within the school somehow. So they made secret service and we get them out, but they and kids are really proud. They are, play at it and they love it. So I'm going to pass it on now because we're going to be moving on. So thank you, Dave. Hi, I'm Bronwyn, and I'm just going to talk about one thing that I do in my class. I have an honours wall which has uh, among it these two um, posters. So I have I'm a star and virtue card. So I'm going to show the virtue card. So when a child gets one of these, they're allowed to come up, get a whiteboard marker, and write their name on this card. So they get the pleasure of putting their name up on the honours wall. And it stays there for the week. It gets rubbed off, but started fresh on Monday morning. And one of the um, reasons for doing that is I'm acknowledging that they're getting a virtue card, but also, and that they're using virtues, but also that helps me keep track because when you're giving something like this out, sometimes you can miss children. Um, so this is actually my monitoring system. This is my monitoring system to make sure that there aren't some children who just get through a, a term without having a virtue card. That would be um, very distressing. But I'll just talk a bit more about this one. This is also my virtues one, but I'm a star. So this is me. I'm just looking and I'm watching children. And occasionally I will see a child do something that is just out of the ordinarily wonderful. And I stop the class and I talk about that virtue that I've seen. And they get their name up here in permanent. So it stays all year. Once their name's on this one, it's permanent. And um, these are new because last year's ones, I've given them out. So the last week of term, the kids that had their names on it, they had a... Um, Guess my number to take the card home, and those who had their names on this had guess my number, and we did that a lot. But we gave out everything because they just wanted to take it home. And then when I put the new ones up, they said we want to come back because those are better colours than this last year's. So anyway, that's what I do. I just tell you a little story. A little girl, she was being our understudy for our production in one of our items and she the girl who was being the main role was sick a lot so amber had to step in lots and lots and she never ever grizzled about the fact that she was doing all the practices but was never going to actually shine on the production night and get the applause of the audience and all that and i just thought that was so wonderful that that was one reason that child's name went up on the permanent board because she showed virtues that were very very adult like for a seven year old and you know those are those teachable moments in the classroom where i take the positives and show and talk about it to the whole class thank you Um, kia ora, my name is Emma Tamohi and I am a um, team leader for Year 7 and 8 at Kimia Primary School. Um, obviously as a classroom teacher it is important to speak the language. Sorry. So speaking the language is important. Um, next slide. Oh. I'm just going to be really brief here, but obviously as Year 7 and 8 students, they're our leaders of our school, so it is important that we Give them, give them the opportunity to practice the virtues, but also an opportunity to speak the language as well. And it is evident, obviously, in the presentation of our assemblies, <coughs> events organised by leaders, 
but also giving them access to give out Kinect school virtual mm -hmm. cards to other students. Oh, um, but definitely um, assembly items is a good opportunity for our year seven and eights to speak the language and also, I guess, role model for our junior students the virtues itself. So I'm going to show you a quick item, but I am going to skip because obviously we're short on time. So here is the video. Um, what I do want you to take, what I would like you to take note of, sorry, is in the background, there is a PowerPoint that has the virtue that they're displaying, but also an explanation. Now this was back in 2012, which was our second year of the virtues being introduced into our primary school. Um, the students made it up themselves. So first and foremost, they wanted to do um, a extreme X Factor show. So what they did was they looked at the talents that they had and then they linked the item to a virtue and then what they did was they created the show themselves with a script and in the script they're using the language of the virtues as well as displaying that and it was a good way to introduce the virtues to our community and our families at that particular assembly. So if you have a look at the background here they're showing perseverance. I'm going to skip probably more so to the end of the video due to time because it does go on for about 10 minutes. So obviously this was a talent from a small group of students who wanted to do a bit of a rap, so they're displaying what perseverance looks like. Um, okay, well I'm not going to show the whole video because it does go on for 10 minutes, but what happens is at the very end, um, so all the students are included, but at the very end um, they composed a song called What Is Venus? and um, one of the students are playing the guitar and they've come up with the lyrics themselves and it was a really good way to end their actual assembly item by showing fairness because it wasn't about winning the Extreme X Factor show it was about um, showing courage, confidence, perseverance, commitment and all the virtues we're trying to implement that particular... Yeah, so thank you. Michelle Tate um, and I've worked as a learning assistant at Kamehia Primary School for almost seven wonderful years. Um, I'm really excited to be here today to embrace and hopefully gain a better understanding of how the Virtues Project works. Um, at Kamehia Primary School we have six Kamehia Kid attributes which Kirsten has gone over. Um, we use these as well as the language of virtues to help guide and encourage not only ourselves but also the students. As a learning assistant my role varies from assisting students on road patrol duties to working with students with special needs as well as oral language and phonemic awareness groups. Throughout my day to day duties I use the language of the virtues and attributes. When working with students with special needs I show the use I show and use the attributes of the virtues to help guide and encourage their learning. So for example, I use tact when giving feedback, um, I'm understanding to their needs, I show patience to each student's learning ability because every student differs and they learn in different ways. Um, I demonstrate the attributes and virtues when I'm road patrol duty by showing and reminding students what patient looks like and why it's important showing consideration to others as well as tolerance of others. I think this is an extremely important for everyday life. In my little groups, my phonemic and um, our language groups, I have special sticker charts. I don't use the virtue cards, I use the sticker charts. And every now and again, if they show friendliness, if they show cleanliness, it gets written on there and they get a sticker, so it's there in front of them, they get to see it. Once they get 10 stickers, they get to choose a reward out of the reward box. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is Lauren Yates. 
I would like to thank Kirsten, our Board of Trustees and the organisers here today for giving me this opportunity to attend this gathering and to get a better understanding of the Virtues Project. I've been a learning assistant at Kinesi School for almost 25 years and during this time I've worked for five principals. When Kirsten became our principal, she brought with her a sense of uniqueness. And like her predecessors, each adding value. And through Kirsten, I was introduced to the Virtuous Project. I worked with several classes um, throughout the school each day. And I need to show flexibility, patience and understanding. <laughs> As each child, each class and each group and it, um, have different needs. Not only are we using the language of the virtues during this time, we also need to incorporate our six come here kid attributes. And as you can all tell, I'm using one of these right now, a risk taker. <laughs> you can probably tell I'm extremely nervous to be standing before you. The groups of students I work with are just below the national standards and showing that I care and respect their achievements whether it be great or small, and the enthusiasm I share towards their learning increases the student's sense of worth. I give out virtue cards, which I, I'll just cut this down short because I know we're running out of time, and I'll leave them up here. But when I'm decorating these cards with stickers, I'm thinking about each individual child. I'm not thinking about as a mass. And these will reflect what I see and know about the student. I write around the outside of the card using positive comments about the student themselves. My reward is the look of pride on their faces. And when buying books for the library, I'm looking for books that reflect virtues, values and manners. And these are not always easy to find, but do come up in picture box often. By using the language of virtues, I'm encouraging others to do the same. Coming here today, I feel very humble to be part of a special group of people. Thank you. Hey folks, that is sustainability. From my perspective of a woman who's leaving the school before she gets the big O, and it's not, it's not the six big O, I feel so humbled because I'm looking at the bigger picture of education and look at this wonderful team of teachers. Here's another school and they will leave Kimmer here in time and maybe run their own schools or go to another place and that's sustainability and I want to honour you Kirsten and your team for your commitment and your excellence. Um, you all very much. So just to finish today, um, so with us today we have team leaders, we have learning room teachers and we have learning assistants, support staff. And uh, for me as principal I think that that is really crucial to the culture of your school, that it's not just about the teachers, it's about everyone and it's about being a team and that word team, together everyone achieves more. And every piece, I talk to the staff about, I see everyone as a piece of the jigsaw and we all bring something really special to it. And when we work together as a team, we create the whole picture. So, um, yeah, um, thank you team, well done. And just before I finish, I didn't mention, I had it written on my iPad, but of course it got away on me. Part of our learning journey was to invite very special people into our school to share their gifts with us. Um, and I'd like to honour Judy and Arjavan and Tiffany who have all spent time in our school and shared their gifts with us and another couple from Hamilton as well. Um, that has made a huge difference to us on our journey and I think that's also important that there's lots of people out there to help us and to work with us and um, yeah, the bigger team, the bigger team beyond Kimahia School Community. So kia ora koutou. gave the speech I was wanted to hear Judy. <laughs> very words, thank you very much. And another why after I think we just this is the way that we thank people in New Zealand. <laughs> oh Judy, you're good at singing this. 
Yes. <laughs> Anyone who wants to join in, I'm just a bit twisted, so. to tell you the website if you want to note that down to follow and write it down on the board. Okay, write it on the board. Thank you once again for an excellent presentation and all your dedicated work. Thank you, Penny, for your helpfulness. Yes. Appreciate that. Yes. Yes.